There's a question that has been lingering, and it got even louder yesterday after the Eagles whooped the Broncos. What's that question? We'll talk about it and more coming up next. The following announcement has been paid for by the ENN Podcast. Right he has a, he it, has a good energy. Yeah. Yeah. Can you believe it? Can Sports. you feel it? Can you feel that excitement? The merchandise, wearing the hats. Chris Wilde here live from Lincoln Finance. And I'm telling you, if you let Eli Manning walk into that stadium. Use it. Wow. Man, again, and I hate to do this again, but these are goose. Whoa! And more. What's his next book going to be called? Spineless? Like. I told you that beat sounds better after a victory, and it's Victory Monday, and it's also Overreaction Monday. First, before I get into today's topic, which is Jalen Hurts, and is he the guy? Is he the Eagles franchise quarterback? I want to give a shout out to Ray302 Tattoo over at Walls of Wonder, who put this amazing tattoo on my arm and just did an absolute ultimate job. Nothing better than getting some fresh ink, and it's been a long time for me. Again, thank you, Ray. Find them at Walls of Wonder in Dover, Delaware. Now, speaking of ultimate jobs, you want to talk about the ultimate job that was done yesterday. I believe Jalen Hurts had the best performance of his professional career when the Eagles absolutely walloped the Broncos 30-13. to Jalen Hurts had a stellar first half, cooled down a little bit in the second half as the Eagles didn't have to pass the ball at all, basically. Um, and the question all offseason has been, is Jalen Hurts the guy? Is he the franchise quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles? Now, I know this fan base is split about everything all the time, right? But this is a topic that they've definitely been split on, is a lot of people don't think that Jalen Hurts is a passer, so he cannot possibly be a franchise quarterback. And some people thinking he's got that ultimate package that I'm talking about. Being able to run, being able to make these insane, crazy highlight plays a la Donovan McNabb and Michael Vick, and can't accurately pass the ball when it's needed. We just haven't seen so much of that total package. No, not Lex Luger. I'm talking about that total package from Jalen Hurts this season until yesterday. And I think, look, coming into this year, I said it, I've said it last week, I'm going to say it again. It's a, this is a rebuilding year. We expect so much. I mean, the Super Bowl was in 2017, not that long ago. We just expect so much. We want to see these guys win every week that we forget that this is an absolute rebuilding period for the Eagles. And it's a growing process, too. I know we're tired of the trust the process talk here in Philly, right? But it's absolutely what you got to do with Jalen Hurts. Now, the Eagles have a ton of picks next year, a bunch of money, and a lot of... Uh, focus is being on these three possible first round picks and Howie Roseman going to colleges and scouting quarterbacks this week uh, definitely even put that further into motion. Do the Eagles waste all those picks on a quarterback or do they save the picks, pick some top tier defensive talent or some stud offensive linemen or some more pieces to help this Eagles team out um, and keep Jalen Hurts. Now, if you were to ask me before yesterday, I would kind of say, and I don't know, I mean, what, what, what do you do? Because if you let Jalen Hurts go and he goes to another team and he takes him to the playoffs and he's a reliable quarterback, now you have egg on your face if you end up with a guy like Zach Wilson. And I know that's unfair to Zach. It's his rookie year, but you get what I'm saying. A quarterback that just doesn't look that good right now. Now, Jalen Hurts yesterday showed me that he can be he can be a top quarterback in the league. So the pass to Devontae Smith in the end zone was just a dime. It was compl- it was right there. The one to Quez Watkins that Quez dropped was on the money. Um, the second touchdown to Devontae Smith. Any other week, Jalen Hurts probably would have tried to run that in, but he puts it right on the money for Devontae Smith. And if you remember against the Chargers the week before, he missed a touchdown kind of like that. I think that Jalen Hurts gets better every week. I think he's absolutely getting better every week. And the coaching staff is helping him out by giving him an awesome running game. I mean, you've seen uh, Jordan Howard and Boston Scott run all over teams. And the two teams they did before yesterday, we said, well, they're bad football teams with bad defenses. The Chargers have the worst run defense in the league. But the Denver Broncos have a top 10 run defense. Their defense is not bad. They are coached by a defensive coach. And the Eagles did that. They ran all over them. They put up the most yards that uh, have been up against the Broncos this year and the Philadelphia Eagles went to Denver and won on the road a la the Road Warriors for the first time in 32 years 32 long years 
And a lot of that's because of that quarterback, Jalen Hurts. So what do you do? Is he the guy? Again, you know what? This video, it's kind of, I'm not giving you a straight answer. I'm not going to give you a straight answer right now because I've got to see what these next uh, games consist of from Jalen Hurts. Can he be consistent and continue to grow and continue to get better? And now you're not facing doorbusters here. You're not facing uh, some really strong teams. I mean, you're facing a Saints team with a great defense but a bad quarterback. And then you're facing the Giants twice and the Washington team twice and the New York Jets. So if Jalen Hurts can be the guy that he was yesterday or even somewhat close in that first half, I think you have your answer and you use those draft picks on some players that can help this defense and this team. And you know what? If he doesn't, if he has egg on his face and it all falls apart and he looks absolutely horrible, then maybe you use those picks and trade for a Russell Wilson. Or maybe you try to sign Aaron Rodgers. I don't know. Or maybe you get the top college quarterback, which there aren't. The quarterbacks this year are not great. I don't think the quarterbacks this year coming out are any better than what Jalen Hurts is going to be. So with that being said, I'm absolutely excited, guys. The game yesterday was awesome. On cloud nine, um, cloud nine up in that altitude as the Eagles beat the Broncos. And I'm used to getting our asses whooped in Denver, so it was really good for the opposite to happen. The Eagles have been road warriors this year, and we need to get a win at home. I've been to the last two home games, and the Eagles have lost. I'm not going to be at this one, so maybe they'll win. Maybe I'm the bad luck charm there. I hope not, but we could definitely use – and I don't think the Eagles have won back-to-back -back games this year, now that I think about it. I don't think they've won back-to-back -back games, so it would be good to see, again, more consistency, not just from Jalen Hurts with the defense, but this is – these next – was it five or six games we have left? This is – this will tell you if Jalen Hurts – can be the guy, can be the franchise, not Shane Douglas, but the franchise of the Philadelphia Eagles. Former franchise quarterback Donovan McNabb says, look, just be patient with the guy. Just be patient, and he could be the quarterback that we want him to be, but we got to be patient. Look, he's got a guy like Devontae Smith. You get him a couple more pieces. I love Quez Watkins, but I just don't know what Quez is. Jalen Rager's a bust. You get him a couple more decent wide receivers, just wide receivers that can do their job to to tag team with Dallas Goddard and a really good offensive line. I mean, Landon Dickerson looks like the real deal. Uh, you get Jordan Maialata that also looks like the real deal. I'm loving some of the guys that they're subbing in and out. I think Herbig is decent, even though that snap at center was horrible. Um, and you've got, you know, the, the man, Lane Johnson, also there at right tackle. So I, you just keep building. Just keep building. Help this guy. And you never know it can happen. And again, next year, a lot of money. And why not build around a, a guy like Jalen Hurts, who yesterday was the only quarterback in the NFL to have a 90... And I don't do a lot of stats on this show, guys. You know that. He was the only quarterback in the NFL this year to have a 90-plus QBR rating two weeks in a row. Um, the last quarterback to do it three weeks in a row was Lamar Jackson in 2019. Um, and Jalen leads his team right now in rushing. I don't know if he will after... Uh, if Howard and Boston Scott continue to play the way they do. But... Who knows? I, I'm, I like a guy like that. I love the fact that he can run the ball. I love the fact that he, if he can pass like he did yesterday, that's what we've been missing, man. That is what we've been missing. And he can be the new era Donovan McNabb. And as much crap as everybody gives Donovan, myself included, the guy was pretty good here for the 10 years that he was here. Uh, There's a lot of good, good moments. Uh, more good than bad. That being said, guys, everybody, just have a great day. Have a great night. The Supreme Bros Episode 5 College is coming, and it's coming hard. That's what she said. Um, that will that should be posted up by the end of the week. Also, more from ENN, as well as for the wrestling fans out there, if there are any. I say I'm a professional wrestler. People are probably like, well, where, where's the wrestling, Chris? Where, let's show us. Um, I will have my title defense against the Alpha Dog, Adam Chandler, from 1CW Professional Wrestling. That will be up as well. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that cash app. Donate to the channel. Everything is welcome and appreciated. That being said, go birds! <clears throat> I'll see you later. Eagle Nation, the